Good morning, everybody. This is Spencer Michaud. I'm here at the Great Lakes Astrology Conference 2019. And joining me today is Mara Evenstar yeah. of Evenstar's <laughs> Chalice, who is one of the vendors that we have in our marketplace room uh, and part of our local community. Welcome, Mara. How are you doing? Hi, great. <laughs> Thanks. Glad um, to be here, Spencer. Mara, Hi, tell, us, tell us a little bit about your store and what are some of the offerings that you are bringing to the table here? Okay, well, Even Stars Chalice is a brick and mortar store in Ypsilanti, Michigan, and we're right on Huron Street, so one of the main drags there in downtown. And we're having our second anniversary coming up next weekend. Nice. So we're having a big celebration. And uh, so, yeah, we're fairly new, like it's been there almost two years, sure. but just so feeling very blessed and excited to be part of that community. Our shop, we kind of describe as a, you know, for people to understand it as a, a metaphysical shop or a spirit shop or something like that. Sure. But it really is, I think, even more than that. It's, it's a shop in which we offer support and tools uh, for people, regard, you know, whatever their path is. Yeah. Um, and really, one of the key visions of the space was that the space itself would be transformative. You're building community. About community. Yeah, exactly. you're building community That's there. exactly it, right. And so um, that's really the main focus. And we have people walk in and they'll sometimes start crying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're just like, I've been praying for a place like this. That, you right. know, because there's a lot of focus on, on beauty and yeah. soul connection within the shops. So. Oh, it's a beautiful space. I mean, it was completely renovated, right? When you, mm -hmm. when you got in there, they've got a nice tin, yeah, old style tin antique. roof, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and I've been doing readings, like uh, mm -hmm. astrological readings in the store, drop-in readings. They have tarot readers, intuitive yep. readers. Um, it, it's a really nice space. Uh, and, and that's kind of, you know, you're bringing that energy here to the conference. How's your conference experience been so far? Well, so far, the conference experience has been great. This is our first time here mm -hmm. at, at GLAC. Um, and uh, there in the vendor room, we've been meeting people that are in this community. We're seeing a lot of crossover, yeah. you know, with a lot of the other communities, but also sure. meeting people from, from farther afield, um, which has been really great. And, you know, one of our challenges was, well, what from our store do we bring to an astrology conference, <laughs> right? Because it's just such a broad level of interest in it, right. and it's within everything. And so sure. uh, that was a lot of fun trying to figure that out. Okay. <laughs> so. What did you bring? Uh, what did we bring? Well, we brought uh, some used books and resources okay. from astrology. We brought some of the things that are symbolic that are found within astrology, like our chalices mm -hmm. and uh, uh, things like that. And uh, we brought a lot of uh, uh, tarot and oracle cards that are astrology based. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah there's, there's been an integration. I know in, in the readings that I do, I integrate uh, the Rider Waite deck into my readings mm -hmm. with with the decanic associations of the planets, the 10 degree dis uh, divisions of the signs yeah. are associated with each uh, tarot card in the minor arcana. So it, yeah, it's, it's uh, something where we're seeing a lot of cross pollination between these different divinatory systems, which are, are just used to get, you know, a communication, right? right, right. So it, it's kind of neat to see that there's all these different tools out there for, you know, astrologers, other types of diviners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so, what else have you, uh, so the, the anniversary of your store is actually my birthday, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's don't right. we share a birthday? That's me, right. me in the we store, do. July 7th, <laughs> coming up next week. Um, so that's kind of cool, a nice little synchronicity. Uh, what are some of your plans for the future? Do you have any workshops mm -hmm. coming up or? Well, yeah, um, some of the things that have been opening up is we're actually teaching a lot of Reiki out of the shop. Cool. Reiki's so hot right now. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I mean, I've been a Reiki teacher for many years, but that's yeah. really been, there's been a lot of uh, desire and call for that. So we're doing a lot of that. And I'm also teaching um, work on what I call circle technology, yeah. which is um, bringing the ancient technique of sitting together in circle mm -hmm. and processing, but putting, making them purpose built circles to do to deal with things like community issues or right. you know not just for personal growth but for community connection and growth yeah. and so bringing some more of that knowledge that comes from my my background in um currently working on a doctorate in leadership and social transformation right, right? right. and so uh bringing some of those techniques and skills and methods into the shop and into the workshops and and of course, as a, as a shop, we are, we're always listening to folks, yeah. you know, what do they want? And so um, being able to respond to just what's coming up. That's what I think is interesting about your story. I want, I want to hear just a little bit more about that because you have one foot in the metaphysical world and one foot in like the academic world. And I think that's a really interesting combination because you've gone through some of the, you know, training, uh, like the therapeutic training mm -hmm. as well. 
uh, which I think is something like in the astrological community, we're trying to figure out how we study our, our divinatory systems and have the counseling skills to be able to communicate those ideas to our clients. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> and I would say I have another foot in yeah. the corporate world because I also do right. corporate consulting. So I bring yeah. these things into the, into the corporate world. Yeah. Um, I, I think that this is how we're going to learn and grow together, right? right? And I do believe it's a combination of those skills that we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, there is an, an incredible amount of the counseling work that comes in. When, whenever sure. you're trying to do heart-based work, Mm -hmm. um, or, or growth work. Um, those things all have to weave together. And yeah, and so like, and my academic background is in anthropology and transpersonal psychology. Right. So I've got the psychology background, you know, the right. depth psychology, the Jungian, you yeah. know, all those pieces come into play. And so for me, even just like with astrology, I'm just like, oh, what a great system, what a great tool, taking sure. a look at that, you can dance in that. And then then, oh, and people over here, they're speaking this language. Right. And so um, even bringing, um, and bringing astrology into the corporate world and bringing these things in, just, it sometimes just requires a shift in language sure. a little bit. Sure, but, translation. You know, there has- well, It's a bridge though. That, it it is a bridge. bridge. And there are humans in here having their human experience, yeah, right, right? You know, right, so, right. so you can make that bridge. You can absolutely do it. So. All right, fantastic. Yeah. So Mara, where can we find more about, so your store is in Ypsilanti, yeah. which is very close to Ann Arbor mm -hmm. here on 36 North, North Huron, Huron Street. Yeah. Uh, and it's got like a little metaphysical row in, <laughs> yeah. in Ipsy. It's, it's nice. There's, there's your store. There's a, a crystal shop. Mm -hmm, the world, world of rocks. World of rocks. And yep. then right next to you, there's a, a magical supply store. Yeah. What's they're an apothecary. apothecary. They're an organic apothecary. And um, right. Twisted Things is, Twisted is the name things. of the shop. Yeah. And it's, it's awesome. So yes, yeah, yeah. you come. We call it our own, Ypsilanti, his own little Diagon Alley there. there so. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. perfect. And your website again? Uh, it is evenstarschalice.com. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me today, All Mara. Right, Spencer, Appreciate thanks it. so much. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.